Alright, saw a submission in the main um, Monster Train Discord for Curse Seed. Looks like Shiny Steve has uh, done it there. And I think, yeah, April's submission. One Breaker Prince and Shade Splitter. So for me, typically an okay combo, right? I think the two clans pair nicely. I don't really care too much about Hornbreaker Prince. Wrathful gives a semi-okay early game, which I suppose is better than I can say for Tethys or... Honestly, I'll throw some shades, sometimes a little fade. Um, and sometimes Primordial. Starting, I'm starting to rank my champs more on what they can give me in ring one. Uh, anyway, I'd say they're they're hard bosses, definitely. We start with a rage serum. It's all right. We start with Price space room. That's great. Hidden passage is probably a lot less good when we have space prism. Not really looking to overstack that much here. Hell or nail is good. Hell or the steel is even better unless we find a ritual. Um, if I do find a ritual, though, this is easy. Actually, if I find a ritual, it's just fine. This merchant magic right here, hell vent there, boom, that'll be easy. So we'll see. We'll see what the uh, seed has in store for us. Wrathful. Easy choice for me there. I mean, raid sherm is not enough scaling. I, I, you could maybe argue, I guess, with the shade splitters, but typically you'd expect a one health, one attack scaling. To me, that's not good enough for brawler. Um, but I would say that if you went Brawler, it's not massively wrong there. Um, I just, again, prefer to get the early game out of the champ and then throw the champ away. Uh, Split Anvil is having a ton of hits in this combo. I'll take that. And because I have Wrathful, it also gives me the flexibility to probably take these, these uh, shards here. Plus, we don't even really have to take anything at Temples, probably. I'm down with it. Of that Kirk's Goat, easy choice. Easy, easy choice. Mark of Invasion. There's a slight chance that could be bad, but I could just go bottom if that's the case. Um, like, if I somehow don't draw, if I draw like two dead weights, a rage serum, and space prisms, then I wouldn't have any way to deal with the mark. But most likely, I end up with a, a way to deal with this. It's pretty low low risk, and I can go bottom if I can't, right? And we are good to go here. Okay. I think I... Do I block with this? Or do I let it hit me? Or do I let him hit me to get the rage? I think I let them hit me to get the rage. I'm getting armor anyway. I'm gaining health here. I think I do this. Don't want to have to uh, take damage if I don't have to. I could bring a steward up if I care about one damage to the pyre. so certain that I do. Well, are we going to beat the boss is the question. Space prisms get a little bit worse and so do the shade splitters if I bring this guy up to save one fire health, but yeah, I think I don't do that. to save five fire health though. I think that's definitely worth it.
put it on him even though he's in the front because he's the one that benefits from this. We got Mr. Balanced here with six pirate health and scourge shuffling. That's right, it's Mr. Balanced himself. I think with that we're gonna do just fine though. We should torch ourselves twice. And that is why I take Wrathful. There's no way Brawler outperforms what I just did there. No way. Uh, this is a pretty easy horn break for me. Um, we want just to get some okay backline clear if we need it. Could never have more, I guess. Or could never have too much. Like a mind collapse, probably worth it. It's pretty good. Um, I don't even know what the choice is here. I mean, I got a Gurg's Goat. It's a Hellhorn banner. It's not an Umbra banner. Oh my gosh, there's a Multi Strike as well. Spell Chain and Purge, probably not happening. All right, we'll take the takeable unit here. Um, definitely fine with that. We will. The only thing we are slacking right now is offensive scaling. Uh, we kind of have it with Wrathful at the moment, though. That's fine enough. Worst comes to worst, I could always maybe find a consumer move on Rage Serum and then hold it over. It'd be like a bad hold over perils. <laughs> it might be enough when I have. Well, it, it wouldn't be enough. We're good for now, but long term we definitely need to find something. You know, chased. It's not out of the question, actually, in this case. This would be one of those rare cases where I could justify. Uh, like, if I see an Alpha Fiend, I could do that, and then I don't even have to worry about rage. They're going to be striking three times. I could just start overstacking. Um. So this steal may or may not happen. I got a hell hunt there. I got a hell hunt there. That steal may or may not happen. The steal will probably happen. The steal will happen. Just trying to gauge how much I need or how much I might want to maybe hold out for a quick, but I think I can just actually just lock this in. Could also, oddly enough, just do that. Just do that. If I end up overstacking and I have to survive a turn like mid, we're gonna be happy that we have that. Don't think. I mean, Spell Chain Space Prism's okay. I just. I don't really know where this build's gonna go when we have the Hidden Passage right now. So let's wait a little bit to see where it's headed. So we want chance. A Branded Warrior also could work. I'm less into the Branded Warrior though when there's this, uh, this whole Seraph the Chase thing. They have armor. Guess we take the one that gives us more damage. Will be tough to draw through here. coming right on time. So right now, if I go to 40, if I go to 44, 44 plus 10 is 54, which is in fact one less than this. Let's see if this is a damaging morsel. It's not. So, I guess 
this kills anyway, right? I was just seeing if I could get away with giving myself rage, but it doesn't really look like it. I think we'll be fine anyhow. Could have actually fit one up there, but whatever, we'll, we'll be killing this. We'll definitely be killing this. Just to show them how much we had them, though. These guys are only helping my cause with the one damage. And again, I, this massively outperforms Brawler. My guess is the people are going Brawler, because Brawler is overrated and people don't want to admit it. I will say though, the uh, common tier drafts, we didn't hit what we really want to see with uh, Hellhorn, you know, no fledgling, no ritual, no even a welder helper would have been alright, but horn breaks are okay. I just wonder at, the, at a certain point I have a mind collapse, I have a horn break. Do I need another horn break? If we are gonna do some overstacking shenanigans, I don't necessarily want a ton of cards. I wanna hit hidden passages at reasonable times. But a horn break is a really good card. It's also tell us the stunner, so I'll have less hits on sometimes. Hmm. Yeah, let's take it. I could take this just for some scaling, which we don't really have. <laughs> I don't really like any of these. We could, I guess, take the Morsel Maker. I just don't know if it's good enough. It's like, I get 6 attack on these, which translates to 18 attack a turn. I get the Alpha Fiend, I get 15, so 45 attack a turn. Got the chance here to get that. Uh, even if I don't get that, I have to imagine a Branded Warrior would be better. Um, or if I don't get either of those, maybe I just find a rail beater and it just makes the cut anyway, because it's a rail beater. Do I take a morsel maker? I mean, it could be a unit that does scale my prints. Then if I, if I guess if I just miss horribly on like scaling options and units, it could be an essence into this. So if I'm, let's say I'm starting 30, let's start from the, con the, let's say I start 30 attack. Let's say I gain 18 attack a turn. So, how many would that need to be in order to get to like 240 damage? How many turns would that take? Or maybe let's think of it more and like, let's think if we get top. Let's say the best case scenario, I draw like all of them out in the opener. Like, well, let's give you real charitable here. By the time wave 3 comes around be the 5th turn so 5 times 18 is 90 plus 30 is 120 so I'm basically doing half damage to the tanks which is not going to be good enough maybe if I can combo with an inferno though I'm just like basically calculating, could I win if I'm forced to never, let's say in the worst case scenario, I never find any rage scaling, I never find an Alpha Fiend, I never find a Branded Warrior. Can I win with Morsel Maker into Steelworker and like copy him three times? And then have him overstacked onto a floor. I think I would have to get an Inferno at that point it's just not going to be enough damage to take the gigantic tanks out.
Granted, I can take out the front and back liner with Hornbreak. Wrathful will do a decent amount of damage if I have to have him on the floor, I think. And this does help my ring three. Like, truthfully, it does. I mean, it just scales this guy. I think I'll take it, um, just as a out in case things go horribly. We're gonna try for the unit here, though. And just maybe get some spell damage. Oh, remove consume. That's on. So now that I have remove consume on this, that actually opens up things. I mean, it's not much. And it ain't good into chase, but it's something. 30 power is probably unnecessary. Okay, Branded Warrior is definitely better than this. And I can, uh... Huh. I'll take it. I'm... I do have a bit of a conundrum right now, though, because... I have these two hell vents. Only hell vents other than that one. I have to commit to this. I mean, it is better scaling, right? And now we, we are just going to commit to an overstack build. I do fear how it's going to function in De Chased. Oh well. Um, I'm going to do this. before I hit that cavern. And in case it's a times five event, I would times five that, probably. Although I suppose I could, uh, now I think about it, since we are committed to this, the awkward uh, node generation makes this tough, but if I get times five, I actually might just times five the steelworker. punished for doing what I just did because <laughs> I could have uh, could have waited there and fused the uh, the spike driver colony you know it's probably not that much better though in this case especially when I have Gurg's code this is just a skip as it usually is unfortunately I mean, I could take it, and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. Definitely want that on a horn break. I'm at 40 shards right now, so I'm hesitant to put 30 into like the mine collapse. Because honestly, it would be pretty good on that mine collapse now. Do I need money when I'm probably just hell venting? We don't have any upgrades to make it steel. Vortex would be nice, but Umber Banner is obviously useless to me. I could just take the money there. Might as well spend something. I'm gonna hold out for holdover on Raid Serum because you know, there's only that magic that I'm gonna hit probably. I guess I can hit that one too. Steals are not good for me. So just do that. I mean we always want to play that, right? And it doesn't need any more upgrades. If I find a holdover, it's going on Raid Serum. I actually think I should maybe do this because I may not find better use of shards. It's pretty good there, right? It's pretty good there too. It's just kind of overkill here, right? Like, I'm already killing anything in the game that I need to with 30 piercing, but if. And like 60 or 70 piercing really isn't some magical breakpoint that starts killing things that, that 30 doesn't, right? A tank isn't going to die to this. This could be, though, as we've kind of outlined what I need for, like, 
killing the tank waves, like some of that extra damage, I guess I'll do it. It's a pretty nice bet damage burst. I think we're powerful enough, hopefully, to survive 55 shards to under Talos. Um, this is not necessarily helping matters. I think it's fine, though. Um, I will survive this hit, and I'll be scaling a lot of defense with all of this up in here. Can't be risking that. Oh, I should also. <laughs> I have a uh, mind collapse split anvil synergy that I completely blinked on. I want to let all these here because I do want to get like a hit with uh, Steelworker. I may as well bring this guy up. tough for Steelworker to get kills back there. Maybe I should let all of these up. I don't know though. Probably not. I don't need these. stand could be a big thing. Umberstone could too, but yeah, that's going to be something we can build around. And uh, at this point, I think to wait all the way till ring six, could add another branded warrior, honestly, but might open up steals for me. But I guess I just want to hit these hell vents. Skip it. We definitely want to do draw. We have the split anvil if we need it. And obviously Pip is no good because we're going to be overstacking shit. Alright, we'll take the low value hell vent because it's a low value. It's basically hell vent versus unstable vortex, right? Alright, let's get two of yous. I guess I don't need this money if I'm already at 70 shards and I don't really need money, right? Flexing Brawler is potentially okay here. I do wonder if that's what we need out of him at the moment, though. Like, I think he definitely pl ends up playing a part on this run, but is full Wrathful better? Like, really just dedicate to the tank pool. It's the only way I can start with a... I mean, at this, I guess at this point I do gain the same amount of health, because I gained 10 armor uh, initially, but if I can get Wrathful 3, I get the 40 health. I suppose Flexing Brawler is fine here. I don't see any advantage to going full Wrathful. Wrathful, unfortunately, just doesn't gain much from subsequent uh, levels. 
Though, all that being said, if I don't really need another strike, I probably will take another point of Wrathful over another point of Brawler. Heaven Seal's a little bit iffy here. We're like, we, we are definitely prone to slow starts. Now I'm on 70 shards. That could be pretty brutal. We already have basically the best start effect we could find, but like, there are definitely some other ones that might be alright. Uh, let me think of this. I mean, these guys aren't the scary ones. It's the guys that aren't pictured here. It's the spear guy. 180. I know everything in me tells me I should skip this trial, but I'm trying to, like, gaslight myself into thinking I can take it. Well, I can't. Here's the thing. I can take it. It's like... Do I low roll though and have like all of the first tanks get sharded up? That's the question. Like if the quill hunters get sharded up, I'm fine. I can deal with that easily. It's just if the tanks end up getting sharded up, particularly the 180 health one, Evan Seal's gonna be brutal because there's no way I kill it. I can weaken it a pretty good amount, but just can't scale fast enough. You know, we're looking at Maybe 60 damage out of that. Maybe... I guess if I can get this guy to 60, he starts at 30. I, th I think it's pretty doable. Worst case is 180 health tank. Like, we already got the Quill Hunter, so that's good. We have a pretty good start here again with uh, you know, these units. I think I do this. Instead of uh, waiting for the other Steelworker. This is why we added the health, right? Just trying to eventually hit, get him with a hidden passage. We get pretty unlucky here, though, with this floor. If we can get him up there. Um, I don't need to jinx this at all. Let's just get whatever this is up there. Alright, we're killing that floor. Which hopefully means we can kill uh, the next floor. One break, where are you? Alright, they're dead. That's obviously good. Um, get the other horn break common. Basically the worst case scenario that I already thought out happened and we dealt with it just fine, so. A-okay. Uh, we don't want to put anything down there considering the boss that's coming our way. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Do that. I should have just brought that guy up. Whatever. Bye bye. Alright. Good sign. Good sign. Uh, normally not too happy. I'm pretty happy to see this here. I am lacking offensive scaling. Oh, you don't know how happy I am to see that in flame. I'll take that over the rage serum. It does more rage. It's really no cost to me. Furnace tap's a little iffy. Furnace tap's a little iffy. Even the engine upgrade probably doesn't work. I don't think I'm, I'm striking so much that I don't think another strike at the cost of like all of my ember is worth it. A weird time when it just doesn't make sense to take it, right? Uh, I definitely like this. This will keep us... You know, I can justify... You know, I have a few... Cons well, I have a lot of consumables, and... You know, if I leak... Ooh, mail hammer. Yeah. Okay. We don't need as many, uh... 
of these now. Because I'm getting so much armor. We have a lot of hits. I'm, I'm thinking of just... Like, maybe Inflame is better at this point. Or Last Stand. The Last Stand's going to be tough to play. We got a chicken egg problem, right? I think it's the Inflame that I held in here. I don't know. Eh, I should probably hold in the unit. I need to get rid of more Soulmaker at a certain point, too. Tell you what, I will take one more. Defensively, we are beyond golden, though. I think this is fine. That there is the one potential for a pretty bad wave. This boss we crush. Um, I don't know. Do I need the money? My horn breaks pierce it. The torches are the things that suffer here, but. Probably don't need the money, and it is that it, at a hundred shards, it's probably a risk that just isn't worth taking. Yeah, I've gotten this start quite a lot. <laughs> More Maker's have been good. I just long term, it's not going to be enough. Okay, too bad we can't split anvil our units here. I'm just going to bring one up then. Oh, actually, back. I can get both. Six. Um. Can definitely get one up. The other one is just gonna die, though, right? If I put it down, so let's wait on it. I have no rage. I'll put it there because we're going to need as much as possible to get that. Myself get hit, huh? Could have torched myself, I guess. But like I, I benefit from just having these get slayed. Right? Let's get that uh, pyre health. Yeah, I basically just don't play anything though. Like, might as well let myself get armor and rage. Look how much damage my uh, prince is doing. Can definitely move you up. Don't need you doing anything to me. Let's get these out of here. Unfortunately, our friend here will die. And such is life. I feel like I, I want this to give me armor. And maybe that's not really needed, but... Yeah, we certainly, once we get going, we get going. We're just a little worried about the leaks, but if I can, I'm basically guaranteed to be at full pyre health. I'm not too worried about the leaks as much. You know, as much, as good as Tyrus and Climb typically is, I'm a little curious if I don't want it. Um, well, it could be good to prevent Ember Drain, right? We definitely want that. I'll take it. Plus, I, I can technically overstack with it still. Void binding's interesting. If I take void binding, we'd be looking to zero cost it, hold it over, and basically say we're not ever playing anything else again unless I want a beeline for every merchant of magic from here on out. Which I could do. I could go 3 3. Yeah, it'd be one ember we'd hit onto the void binding. And then I have five other ember upgrades plus potentially any minus twos i could basically get most of my key cards 
down. I could also add damage to mine clips for every now and then a way out of Ember Drain. Would be rage. I think we're just fine with the inflame, honestly. I can hold over inflame, that would be good enough. Don't need to deal with Ember Drain. You know, with the uh, split anvil especially. This is where Steve went down. Double stack is interesting. Don't really need this. I could do it on the last stand though, just to make it a little more playable. I don't think we need to be adding any more shards. We're already at 100. Um, I think this at a 2, and maybe like permafrosted would be nice. It's weird because like this obviously gains more value from the double stack, but like I said, I kind of want to just hold it over. Um, I could double stack this, and it's 6. Because I don't really care about the armor portion, it's just the rage. I mean, I guess I could just double stack it, and I could put... I don't really want a minus to it. it sucks because I can't play it on the Ember Drain turns. I could bring it back down to 2, but then we have so many damn cards at 2 cost. Although I guess, like I said, we can basically beeline it for... Um, a bunch of these. Okay, I could also just do that. That seems pretty good. Now I wish I'd held out for the minus two there, but it is what it is. I can definitely play this at three relevantly. Like, I don't need to play it turn two, right? And hopefully, uh, I just deal with Chase. So this at three is fine. I'd almost hold out for a... Maybe, maybe we'd want this at 2, though. Because I do want a Helven, and I do want to... If I see this on turn 2, I definitely want to play it. I can just add 10 there. And honestly, like... I know it brings us a little above the shards, but I do think I want to put the Pierce here. It makes this a lot better of a card. We can definitely just get rid of quite a lot now. Like we, we really don't need Shade Splitters. Um, they're probably better than the Train Stewards to remove because they just really are never going to do anything for us. And I can put the Stewards down to ch Chump Block or just basically consume them out. We might not be hitting much Vortexes up anyway because they're all next to Merchant of Steels. I'm going to leave a slot open here instead of bringing up a uh, train stir. It does kind of suck that we keep getting these uh, these here. This could be rough. How did we draw three train stir? That was such a bad opener. Jesus. I don't know if I want to ember drain this turn. I can, I can take that guy out just well enough, so I can do that. Uh, let's get you out of there. I'm going to take one of them out if I have the chance. I wanted to basically be able to play one of these down without the overstack necessity. <sighs> Fuck, I should have put that here. That's fine, I can still get out of this, so let's go... Here, um, we should have a hidden passage coming up, right? God, there's a lot to fucking deal with. I, I do want to get this down, though. And if he dies, he dies. I guess I'm good with two here. It's kind of why we have three, I guess. It's like, 
situations like this can occur. Okay. Um, how much are we looking at here? 12. I can survive that. So what we'll do is that. See how good Hornbreak has, has been, by the way? I guess this doesn't survive. Ah, why didn't I just put it up there? God damn it. All right, I, need, I need to start playing better. A lot of damage incoming with Rage Fill. You'll notice my... I barely have any health here. Alright, I'm down to uh, bring this guy up with Tiresome Climb. It's not going to get me the other shit. I'll just deal with the two days. At least I'll be sitting there collecting Rage and collecting other shit. I again did fuck this up though, but... Whatever. Let's put these here. I guess that guy will be around. For the hidden passage that we bottom decked. <laughs> On up, baby. Should uh, how did we not get any rage onto this guy? These guys, I just, uh, I'm just getting the slays with uh, Prince. Um, bring this guy up. Get another slay. Am I even going to get that? Yeah, 174 by 3. I'll definitely get that. A little bit old dad. Almost got a flying kill. So you know we're, we're, we're pretty powerful. Definitely there. Come on up. Didn't even need to look. That's what we call the uh, the walk off home run. I definitely take a dark deal. Absolutely. See, this is why I love Hellhorn, man. Like, there's so many, like, you, you, you can miss, it, it, comparing it to, like, Awoken, somebody like, some clan like that, right? If I, you know, if I miss on Razor Sharp Edge, which is just one card, by the way, at the comment here, the only one card that you can get for us offensive scaling. You know, for Hellhorn, I already had to miss on two cards. I had to miss on Fledgling and Ritual. Um, but like, even if I miss on that, like I did here, I got essences, I got cards at the uncommon tier, I got cards at the rare tier, I have so many damn ways. I have artifacts, like, so many ways to hit. Um, but yeah, I could gush about Hellhorn, Hellhorn all day. It does suck that we keep giving up vortexes, but there's so, there's enough value over here that I would guess I'm fine giving up that vortex. And I really do want to hit Merchant of Magics. Uh, permafrost to Hidden Passage seems good. That that way, if I get it in the opener, also have money if I need it. Let's check here. This is really good. Now this is the punish for you know not waiting on our. Uh, Elephant, but that's fine. I, I should get rid of Morsel Maker at this point, I think. Even just one of those with melee weakness is pretty ridiculously strong. So we now have a Rail Beater. It's a Rail Beater infusion. Entering with Lifesteal might be better than 5. Just because I... For those turns that I might have to go mid, but I don't know. Pro probably 5 is actually just better. Like... I'm probably more worried about just dropping in and surviving. I don't know, is that true? It would be true of Prince. I think actually the Vine Void's just better. None of them are amazing, right? So if I buy this, I like I said, I still have the Divine Boons and I can reroll. 
Um, I think this is a pretty good permafrost. I re-roll at 90. Yeah, I should be able to afford whatever comes out. Let's make that always zero then, the one that isn't permafrosted. Definitely don't need any of that. Okay, remove consume, we really don't need, right? Yeah, definitely not. Guess we should do that as well. Do I take that anyway? I don't think there's any trial that I can't take. Well, I haven't seal maybe. I haven't seal I maybe can't take. So we only gain like five more armor here versus the 10 health here. Also, the extra strikes will technically mean that I'm getting more kills, thus preventing my scaling on the floor. I think we want to go Wrathful. It's iffy though. I don't think I need the money. Armor 20 is incredibly easy to take here. It's basically nothing. That's free money. I will say this troop does have a lot of damage coming in though. There's something to keep an eye on. Okay. Put you there to potentially block some chump. Start you off with a little bit of rage. Oh, maybe torching him isn't the smartest idea. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna put you there. If we lose Prince, it's not the end of the world, to be honest. I want the rage here. Definitely gotta get rid of that guy. I don't care so much about the money. We are really bad at drawing our Ascend cards, fuck. I forgot to remove Morsel Maker as well. That's... I guess I deserve it, right? Okay, at least we're killing all of them. Might want to keep them alive, I don't know. Yeah, there's no way we can keep him alive, so... This is turning out to be harder than I thought it would be. Uh, we can just move that guy up. 40, yeah. Though we could also just kill him. Nice if I could get this guy in. I should be able to. So if I go here, there, I can move you up, then I can do that. That's dying. That's probably less damage though, right? Should be. What's that? Oh yeah, in a, in a little bit. Just 
250. So let's see, 40. This guy's got 250. Four times seven then. Seven times three is 21. This guy goes down to one. Forty-one. Will hit me for twenty damage, so it's better to do this then. <laughs> Save my pyre one health by doing the math. It's fine. We'll just get back the health here. could bring up a steward, um, would be a little bit of extra stuff. I say we do it, I don't want to wait around for fuckhead. But I will throw that away. Fuckhead being this guy, always comes when I don't have any bullshit for him. Is this boss? Um, go like that instead of bringing him up. I, I'm going to not take any chances here. Like this boss scares me all the time. Should have done that first, whoops. Does look like we don't have much to worry about here though, do we? The only shame is we didn't play our consumables in the right order. Cause I honestly didn't think we were gonna leak, but I guess I I'll be honest, seeing that we leak there is making me worried for very worried for divinity. Like quite worried. A battering ram might not be the worst thing. I mean there's a one out of three chance I could put piercing on it. I have split anvil to make it pretty playable. I think we gotta take it. And this is most definitely a skip. So the lack of removals is definitely hurting us. Um, do we want to just remove or do we want a health end? Like if I health end it should be the goddamn hidden passage. Then who knows, maybe I find a pyre stone housing and I can still do something here, right? At this point I don't really have much I need to do with the Merchant of Magic. Like a holdover or, or double stack dark deal would be okay, but it's... It's not like that necessary. I think we want a hell then. Health is whatever. That's an intrinsic. Okay, now that really makes me pretty confident that I know that we need to. Uh, oh no, there's no intrinsic on the. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get a light stone casing. I should have took the money. I'm <laughs> like 10 gold short, damn it. Like, actually getting the both of them would legit be okay. But, I don't know, into Chaste. I should maybe be more worried about what Chaste can do to me than anything. I think, it, you know, even though these are, like, these are okay. Um, but, I think we gotta do better, or otherwise just get more money. Yeah, it's kind of a fail, isn't it? Okay, I guess all of our money is just going to go into removals. I, I do think we got to get rid of Morsel Maker, even though it's been good. I can't really deal with the extra priority draws getting fucked up. Um, and yeah, these Shade Splitters have got to go. I can get out. Of, I, can, I mean, I can get around Ember Drain with them sometimes, but I don't think they're worth keeping simply for that. Man, we are ten gold short on all fronts. Fuck me. 
No, I don't know that there's really any point in intrinsicing that hidden passage. It's almost like against. It's like against being useful to me. I don't think we need to be adding shards. This run's gonna probably be hard enough as it is. So, for chased in flame, I don't know. It's like. Do I helvent this hidden passage? Because it's entirely possible that maybe just a last stand is better. God, now I wish I took the scorching restraints. So. Flame could be the hellvent here still, instead of hidden passage. I mean, I have three ascend cards. I'm down to 30 cards. I have double draw. Past a certain point, these hidden passages won't be good for me. I mean, removal's are good too, but I got enough of that. Tiresome Climb might be the hell of it. I mean, that kind of covers both grounds. I don't know, though. I think I think this double stacked in flame is the call. I kind of just need to get going, and once I get going, I'm good, and this is the card that will help me get going. I guess we'll check this. Let's see what we're missing out on. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I mean, I don't think we're... I don't think we have this in the bag. I am a little worried. Okay. At least I have the space. Um, let's bring you up. actually have the turn here at the zero cost so we can get everybody under the floor that's good let's get the uh we want the melee weakness one probably in slot one right i have to imagine that's the call so this is huge getting all of them here guarantees are relentless i think because we're gonna get so much armor here um i should let them all live then i know it's a bit of a price to pay here I don't need to let that guy move. Um, throw these away. If I lose uh, one breaker prince, okay, this is <laughs> look at this 900 damage. It's the world's best battering ram ever. I do want to get some just some extra armor there. Let's put the most rage there. That way I'm getting it from the uh, the thing there. Just in case. Give you some love. Oh, I think we're gonna be getting a flying kill here. God, he takes so much rage away though, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, we'll do that. Um, would have liked to get it in the last turn, but whatever. Maybe I shouldn't have done that battering ram, I don't know. God, he really is an asshole, isn't he? That's the last turn you can just destroy my rage on. Jesus, what a fucked up turn. Should win it here though. If I, I feel like this was probably harder than Divinity will be. I don't know that we had the God draw at the beginning. Like, I don't have the God draw. I don't know. All right, we're gonna get uh, bullshitted here. There's much I can do about that. Sh 
should win. It's got all this rage, and we're just a rat in a cage. Let's see if we can keep uh, you know who alive. Darn. Couldn't be done. Oh well. What's that? Good. Oh. No, oh, I didn't. I gotta do this. Starting with both and flames obviously sucks. At least we get around the ember drain. So there's that. Um, now, if I wanted a six six, but that's definitely not better than just this. Throw these away. Down to get a little more rage. Just because it's possible we get a pretty bad draw here. Okay, nope, we get out of it, so that's good. Uh, we want you in the slot one, just like last time. We want you up there. I miss on this, but whatever. Um, we'd rather guarantee that that dies, but we have both the Hornbreak and the Mind Collapse and the Tiresome Climb coming up. This might just be better to kill one of these with right now. Alright, we're taking them all out, but we should get some rage. Who knows, even this is playing three rage here that necessary. Maybe we just want to get our draw consistency better by getting those out of there. Okay. Let's bring you up. relevant. I doubt it though. We should have Mind Collapse coming up though, right? Um, I mean, if we're killing it, it's maybe in my best interest not to kill them. Yeah, kind of a similar story there. It's like Kind of not in my interest to uh, to do that. I'll take one of them out. They're quite damaging. All right. Bye bye to you. Take you out. Given him rage, I guess. Alright. We're getting it done here. We're getting it done here. Our first last stand, even. I again fucked it up, though, but yeah, it doesn't matter. We're destroying them here. Bye bye. Alright, so. Tricky at points, but really in the end, pretty good. Um, Chased was definitely a harder fight, but it wasn't disgustingly hard so yeah I mean I, I don't know like I said I, I like the combo I will say Umbra didn't do much for us here um, it did basically nothing for us here but that's fine uh, sometimes they brick but Hellhorn rarely bricks they only bricked at the common tier everything else was absolutely fire you know Gurg's Goad 
multi-strike right from the get-go. Steelworker, Steelworker's great. Railhammer. Um, and the Branded Warrior Infusion. It's just a-okay, right? Like, I think it's just something, like, like you're not gushing at the mouth to get a Branded Warrior Infusion, but you use it if you need it, and here we needed it, and it was exactly what we needed. Uh, same thing with a lot of these other cards, right? Like, uh, Inflame. Not when you're gushing at to get, but just a nice one. Um, same with uh, Rage Serum. Rage Serum isn't great, but it's better than a Sharpen or something, right? Um, and then eventually we get stuff like Dark Deal, which is great. Last Stand, which is great, right? We have the we have the overstacking. There's a lot of options, right? Split Anvil, pretty good too. So yeah. Let's see what the others did. Okay, Shiny Steve had kind of the right idea. Mark of a champion, though. He did flex Brawler and Wrathful, so we don't know what he started with. If he took that over... Was that up against Gurg's Goad? If it was, I would say that's definitely a mistake. But, uh, I like the multi-strike. I don't like the 10 damage, though, and I don't like it being... I guess he was just going for a zero shard run then. Yeah, okay, he, he didn't take the horde then, so never mind. He didn't take... He took this somewhere else, so that's fine, I guess. You don't really gain much from it, though. Um, I'd be interested to know what it was up against. So this is... I guess fine. Um... I don't know what his plan with the shards was, though. Was he just maybe not doing a shard run? Still fine enough, I guess. No no relics or artifacts between the three of these, though. I mean, I picked some pretty good stuff up in between those, so like, I, I, I'd say maybe pathing could be better. Uh, particularly the rail hammer is really good, right? It would have been pretty nice for him to have... Ooh, I took two fortifies. I don't like that. I don't like that. That was up against uh, Hornbreak. If you're looking for a defensive card, Hornbreak's better than a fortify. It's much better to just kill an enemy that's doing 30 damage to you than to put a measly 5 armor on you, right? Especially when you already have Steelworker. Um, I also don't like the Entumbra Salt. I don't think... Yeah, maybe if you're going zero shards, it's all right though. It is a good card at zero shards. Did have at least one horn break. I just would have rather seen. Did he health into fortify then? I don't know. He must have health into the fortify. I don't know what's going on there. I like the inflame. I don't. I, I would rather see it double stack though, right? I don't like this. I, we didn't see this event, but I don't like taking this ever over the uh, Descent card. So yeah, I think maybe maybe he's just a little rusty. Still made it pretty far with a pretty rough deck. So April... Okay, I really, really don't like this, this call here. So you had no imps even in the opening deck, but even if you did... I don't know, Queen's Tail's alright, but it is nowhere near a Gurg's Goat level of value. To give multi-strike to all Hellhorn un banner units, which are definitely the units you're looking to get at the, uh, you know, in this combo, because the Umbra banners just aren't good. I think this is, I would consider this a pretty big mistake, um, to not take Gurg's Goad over this. Like, maybe if we start with Fledgling Imp, maybe. Even then, I don't know. I, even then, I think I'd take the Gurg's Goad. You don't know if you're getting Endless or not. Um, being able to just have every single unit have uh, Multi-Strike is way better than, like, just a, the Ember and Draw on an Imp, which at that point, you didn't have any Imps. I like these, though. I like the Refracting Lens and Railhammer. Um... I like this. I don't know if I like bring it down to zero though. I'd rather leave it open to, uh, I mean, especially when you have the split anvil. I, th I think you leave yourself open to hell, hell vent, on, or uh, sorry, holdover on it. 
so I wouldn't take up that other slot with an ember upgrade. I also don't love the engine upgrade. We're just with a, with a split anvil. All of our energy should more or less be taken care of, and this just slows your deck down. I like that. I like taking that. I like taking that. Um, but I think. Sixteen damage. Oh, did, did you? Ah, uh, yeah. See, this is what I suspected. Took Brawler Prince, which ends up being just massively worse than Wrathful would be, right? Because I'm looking at the thirty-six damage taken, and like you started with sixteen. Like if you go back to me, I only took two. Um, so that already just gives you less room to wiggle with, and. Even even the other little damages here and there add up, right? That's 16 plus 11. You're pretty low in pyre health. Um, and yeah, full full brawler. Just you're getting an extra strike at that point. Um, you know, you could just have built around a Gurg's goaded steel worker instead. But that'd be my main things. Anyway, that was a fun seed though. Uh, I liked it. Uh, I think it just. And also no, um, no steel work or uh, no uh, essence into this. I don't like either. Um, you have the one of the or the best overstacking unit in the clan, so a steel worker, and you already start with two hidden passages. I think you just plan on putting some sort of a passive essence that has offensive passive scaling. Um, you could have done. You could have settled for Morsel Maker, um, but the Branded Warrior was there, and I have to assume if you found that the Branded Warrior was, you know, at that thing and passing on it was just a mistake, I think, because you have your Hellvents right ahead of you. You might as well just use it in. But yeah, anyway, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.